Hey, I'm Aquafina, and this is everything I eat in a day. First thing I think I do when I wake up, I will kind of rub my eyes, and then I'll do a star, what I call a starfish. Oh yeah, one of those. It's usually a mixed bag with eating first thing in the morning. If there was a bag of raisinets, let's say from the night before, I'll sometimes be that person who like, before I even open my eyes, like a hand's going in there and it's shoveling in. Or I could have like an entire pot roast at like 7 a.m. Like I'm one of those people. Or I don't eat until 4 p.m. It's really either or, like I'm literally not hungry until 4 p.m. Or like I will eat an entire south of the border casserole in entire sitting. I recently tried to reincorporate coffee into my life and when I was young uh, in high school, we'd go to a diner and my friends would feed me coffee with like 17 sugars in them and they'd just laugh because it was just a lot of energy but then I'd have to go home on the subway like alone with that come down. I don't, I'm not saying my body doesn't like it. I don't like what, what it does to my body. I feel like sometimes it's very intense. I feel like I'm tripping. And then sometimes you don't expect tea to have as much caffeine as coffee. That's like, you know, what you think. So then you have like six glasses of PG tips and then everything is purple. And my typical breakfast is something that is just really easy that doesn't need heat. Like a uh, Gatorade, some kind of chicken nugget. Also, avocado, man. You don't gotta do anything to it. You don't even have, you honestly can just bite through an avocado like an apple, which I've done. Not recommended, but avocados, man, those are room temp goddesses. After breakfast, you know, depending on if I'm working or not, if I'm not working and I'm home, I like to just like honestly stay in bed for a while. I'll just, I'll just go right back to bed. And I've been doing this thing where like, if I'll get lunch, I'll order some lunch maybe. But once I put in the order, I'll start snacking. And so then I'll eat like a meal while I wait for the delivery. That's what, how I spend my afternoons. I get very hangry. Yeah, that's it's like a totally different person. I'm very easygoing, very, hey, what, how are you? Oh my God, I'm so sorry about this, you know, the surgery on your legs. But when I'm hangry, it's like, y'all need to leave. You need to leave. You thought I was nice, but really, I hate your bangs. I think they look like shit. A typical lunch for me can be anywhere from a turkey sandwich to catnip. There are a lot of people that are like, I ate a yogurt for lunch. And it's like, what, you want an award? You think you're awesome? I'm not one of those people that it's like, you eat spaghettis and meatballs at 3 a.m. I'll eat spaghetti and meatballs at 9 a.m., dude. My dinner, so sometimes like, you know, lunch and breakfast, those can be a couple hard boiled eggs, four hard, -bo hard boiled eggs, what's wrong with that? Some ranch. But dinner, that's the meal where absolutely no yogurt. You know what I mean? Like you can't have a yogurt for dinner. My dinners, they're humongous. That's like a Costco chicken, right? The entire chicken, right? And then you put that with all kinds of Annie's mac and cheese and all kinds, I'll eat all kinds of things for dinner except for yogurt. When I was little, my grandparents owned a Chinese restaurant and I was going to the back and, you know, steal fortune cookies or whatnot. But one time there was like this basin of pure MSG and I put my hand in it and I put the whole thing in my mouth. I ate the whole thing of MSG, a whole handful. And my tongue swelled up to the size of a raisin. I am still thirsty from that experience. Oh man, my favorite food city, I mean, New York City, obviously, because New York City is like the, the city that kind of prepares you for the food cities. So like when you go to a food city, you, oh, I, I kind of had this back in New York, you know? I always talk about this place because it's, it's actually the best place ever. It's called Taiwanese Gourmet. It's in Queens in Elmhurst. And it's basically a Taiwanese diner. Like it's open in, until all hours of the night, but they do everything from like stinky tofu, like beef noodle soup. It's so good, y'all gotta go, it's so good. Aside from that, I really enjoyed the food in when I went to Kuala Lumpur and Singapore. They have this dish called Hainan chicken, and there's another dish called uh, roti chennai I like am obsessed with. KL and it was definitely a cool food city for me. My go-to comfort meal, my grandma makes this thing in a rice cooker that I've eaten since I was really little. It's a Chinese sausage, and it kind of cooks with the rice and inflavorates the rice. But I also like like 90s kids things, like zebra striped gum or kid cuisine, or like what that, Dunkaroos. I always feel like, I don't know, those things bring me comfort, I don't know why. I've dabbled in late night snacking. Sometimes I'll brush my teeth and be like, I want candies, I can say, but yeah. What I did the other night was, I really wanted a cookie and didn't have any at the time. So I had an Oreo box with crumbs at the bottom and I put all the crumbs in my hand and I kind of like just shaped it into a cookie and it didn't work. <laughs> 
And that's everything I eat in a day. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it.